What's good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video, man. So today we are reacting to another interview, 1960 psychiatric interview with a gay teenager, man. So without further ado, let's get right into this video in three, two, one, bow. Do you think things are going well for you in the hospital? Pretty much. Um, no, I'm not saying yet. How about telling you a little bit about the current problem that you have? At home? Or the, the, what, what brings you to the hospital now? Oh, well, first our family life sort of depressed me, and uh, I, I just know no place you can start and say this is, this is the reason I'm here. Mm -hmm. um, I had, I had and still have um, fantasies that I'm aware of now that I can cope with a lot better than I could. And, uh, well, these are, when I first came in, were extremely vivid fantasies. And they seem real to me now, they're not so real anymore. Can you tell me about uh, the fantasies? Yeah, well, basically, they were the color gray. And whenever I was. I was faced with a dilemma. Um, I'd lapse into this sort of a, a grey dream, and uh, which was accompanied with passing out, and then I'd hear voices while I was passed out. Um, to, the voices didn't resemble anyone I'd ever known before. So voice, and. Uh, They would speak to me and tell me different things, like uh, they tell me to keep believing in them. Yeah, uh, their way of doing things. It's so crazy to me how back in the day this was considered like a sickness. You could get like in some countries it's still you know, a thing where, like, literally you can die, like, they can kill you for being gay, you know what I mean? Because it's sinful, you feel me? And, um, I just don't like that. Like, families made it seem like something was wrong with the child. Like, oh, yeah, it's a choice. You don't have to, you you can stop being gay. Like, I don't know, blah, 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 blah. Like, that's why so many kids hide it. That's why so many kids commit suicide. That's why so many kids run away from home. That's why so many kids are homeless because of just the simple fact that they like the same sex. And it's so crazy to me how families would disown a child because of this, how families would look down upon you because of this, acting like they haven't done things in their past or they haven't even done things now. Nobody is perfect. Trust and believe. People sin every single day. So for you to judge somebody else and you want God to judge you, how do you think that's going to work out, bro? You can't judge somebody else and then expect God to judge you thinking you this holier than thou person and you not, bro. I promise you not. I'm not. I'm gay, so I'm like damn to hell. Might as well say that. Because that's all niggas say. Oh, yeah, you're going to hell. You're going to hell. Sometimes you just got to you just gotta roll with it. Like, okay, bro. I mean, what else? What, what can I say? Oh, my God, I'm going to change. I can't just turn, on, turn it off. I can't do that. And I'm pretty sure other homosexual people out there can't do it either. That escaping through this was right. Is that the right um, word? When I got up here, it seems sort of ridiculous to keep referring this? to them, keep going back. To them. They got violent for about a week. <clears throat> and it would be able to control what I was doing for five or ten minutes at a time. And uh, then I 
came out of the house. And I was completely away from my head. Had a grey images for a good two or three weeks now. Uh, still basically my problem is uh, sexual wise. It's given me a lot of problems and it's frustrated me a great deal. And does this contain the body at this point? No, it still does. Can you tell me a little bit about it? Well, for about, well, since I was about the seventh grade, um, I never was extremely comfortable around girls and more so around my same sex. And, um, it developed into sort of a bisexual arrangement. And uh, where I was comfortable with both sexes and I had relations with both sexes. And uh, this still irritated and bothered me a great deal. There was a great amount of guilt involved. And uh, at one time, one of the boys that I had relations with um, decided that he hadn't done so much on his part to provoke the incident. And he went around and told a couple of people about it. And I was branded pretty much as homosexual. I hate that shit. How you gonna go and tell somebody something and you was trying to mess with me? I don't like that. I oh y'all should watch this movie called uh, a girl like grace or a fall from a fall from grace or a girl like grace one of the two I think it's a girl like grace no a fall from grace I think that's the Tyler Perry movie so a girl like grace is on Netflix if it's not on Netflix it's on YouTube and it's free too so go ahead and watch that because basically it's the same thing where like this girl she was trying to keep a secret you know uh about being you know homosexual because she was dating this other girl at school who betrayed not to be one they were secret on the down low and the girl ended up getting caught and she ended up committing suicide and the girl ended up bullying her best friend you know it's just a whole lot it's a good movie though but I don't like that. Don't try to, you know what I'm saying, spread rumors about me around school when you was on the same tip I was on. You was trying to love me the same way I was trying to love you. I don't like that shit. I hate it. I hate when people do that. It's like you just as guilty as me, so you just gonna sit back and watch people bully me? And you gonna join in when you when you trying to get with me? Like, what? And, uh, then, well, see, my Catholic school knew about it because I was constantly poked at irritated and uh, then I thought the only way out was possibly to leave just get up as much money as I could and go somewhere and uh, if, if this time I didn't think my parents knew about it they went down the bus station just before my bus left in New Orleans um, my mother came driving and one of my friends had called her and told her was going on and then this seemed even worse than before my parents should know about it that they should be faced with the same thing and uh, then uh, I went ahead changed my ticket went to go see my brother and that didn't help much at all um, then I came back home finally and uh, missed a great deal of school. But uh, then that's when I first started coming up here as an outpatient, mm -hmm. seeing Dr. Chanel. And uh, the difficulties that were still there at school. And uh, then I just completely broke down one afternoon. Um, I just didn't have any control of myself or what I was thinking. And, uh, of course, all this was accompanied with uh, suicidal tendencies and so forth that I didn't have any control over either. And, um, then I came up here. 
Wow. I wonder like if he's doing okay and everything. I sincerely want to know because of course they're not going to tell you their names or whatever because that's confidentiality, you know. But then again, like, I don't know, man. But stuff like this is sad, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, uh, people can commit suicide over things like this. Just like he said, he was talking about it, you know what I mean? And luckily he didn't go through with it, you know? So, yeah. Anybody out there that's struggling with being gay, you know, man, hit me up. We can have a conversation, you feel me? But if y'all enjoyed that video, go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe, man. I truly appreciate it. Catch me in my next video. Peace.